While I was at Dextrocan, I had, had numerous tests because they had thought that it might be ovarian cancer. And when I went in, Dr. O looked at all my records from years past. He said from everything that he was seeing in my counts, from my blood counts, it really didn't look like I had cancer, but he assured me that if it was cancer, that they would get it all in that one operation. If it wasn't, he told me, he said, we will go in and do a total hysterectomy. You will be going home the next day. When we say robotic surgery, the robot is just a very fancy, very expensive laparoscopic tool. So it's a, about a $2 million machine that we use, the surgeons use to uh, assist us with laparoscopic surgery. So truly it's, it's laparoscopic surgery, but it's using a robotic system. So the surgeon is still in complete control of the system. So when I went in for surgery, it was absolutely very easy in that they made it all so easy for me. I, they took care of me not feeling so anxiety ridden. I've personally been doing robotic surgery since 2008. Um, and it's, for me, it's been a, a, a game changer for my patients. And when I woke up, the first thing they said to me is, Mrs. Wright, you do not have cancer. And at that point, I was so ecstatic. In the past, for a lot of patients with uterine and cervical cancer, those patients required very large incisions, many weeks to months of recovery time. Uh, nowadays, with robotic surgery, they're able to get out of the hospital usually in less than 24 hours. By noon the next day, I was packing my things, my belongings, and headed back home to Texarkana. You would have never known that I'd had a major surgery. I was able to get up, sit down, get in and out of a car. I owe a lot of that to Dr. O, his knowledge, his expertise. I just can't say how wonderful it was to experience such a painless operation that I had witnessed 30 years earlier with my mom and sister that was much different.